he, he, guffaw. I'd naturally rap back after I'd reach aft with a fat hand to grab the fab wand, the get along, baton, and carry on the song in this pre don John. Rah, stride for stride applied and tongue tied in a tie dyed, eyes wide jeremiad, of sorts, bottling up big words by quartz. Neology sizing down the competition to completion, with a little repetition, erudition and contrition, spitting many motes are plenty with precision, this kiddo perdition, pardoning the jargoning of underlings like playthings, romper room retorting razor rhythms for the way things used to be the glory. A simple story, it's swagificatory, speaking of the soaring, magniloquently boring, but never humbug dumb drugs cum slugged, nor ever drop dead breadhead spoon fed, my rhymes is six cat, rat a tat, head scratch, my flow is ice cold, deep rolled under toe. And with the inevitable ease I please the flesh flaps that book and y'all's noggins. These, those little jumbo dumbos that let the light in, astral photons riding sound waves like Tongan kayakers on the Tongan sea, escaping morbidity, nukuilofa, maloi lela hei, or, aloha. If your lingua likes the lingua de reptilesi, which is to say Okimum Sanctum, or Holy Basil, Batman. With it, you can cook Thai, steep tea, sleep free, calm chi and beat tea, so what's not to vote for? A principled president who's not an ice or, and even more, a bridge gapper. I'll shrinker, war stopper, iconoclastic, mellow bombastic and fan freaking tastic. So, speaking of swordplay, unsheath the breath of fresh mindfulness, from the political scabbard, gabbard, who got a gift of unglib gab, she a phenom fab, humble pie drab dressed in major gabbard garb. Or troop deployed camo, National Guard blamo. Yet her ammo is verbal, inflammatory but herbal, like her namesake extract, adaptogenically elegiac, poetically pronouncing prostrate, and prone, the corpse of the complex, military industrial, that is, oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Like a stentorian cantor with candor she chants. A midday muazin announcing the adan for an antebellum advent. A peace pian proclaimed upon the demise of the dearly departed death's head devotees and dastardly dower dividers in chief. After decades and decades of dim-witted ne'er-do-wells, nerdy evil-doers and devilish doom-gloomers, the haughty oat-brow hobgoblins of hot air, ponderously petulant, pedantic and ponderously populistic. So with a yellow hibiscus affixed to her hair, and a white rug upon he lay, around her neck and a daisy barreled M15 slung behind her back, for good measure, just in case, a big stick to compliment her soft, mellifluous voice, she'll ride, like the oft misunderstood mother, Kali, on a lion, but sauntering, perhaps, into a house as white as her debate suits, and usher in the golden age, or at least a saner, less bellicose administration, where all Oha rules the day, a deep respect for all, redefining dividing lines into winding strokes on the American sketch into which we're all, 
truly drawn together. Bada bing, bada bam. Why, thank you, ma'am. Now, how's that for metasploitational magnificence writ large? About Marge, the sergeant charge, Major Muhair and American Yaysayer, like Leo Sayer, it's more than you can say, or would ever want to, chameleon into persona non greta garbo, and what about Joe Scarborough, who had an aide wind up dead in his office down in Florida, say what, does Mika know? Or does she even care, with a dad like big new, perhaps her grand chessboard is in 4D, or even 5D, like the Donald plays, or so they says, Q and on and on and, hey nani nani, you ninny, and anon. Peace out, peoples of the world. Who you breathes, I need to sit down. A glass of lemonade, please. If you would be so kind, rewind.